Well, here's the sub panel. I located that, and if you have a hard time finding it, usually it's behind a closet door, a bedroom door, a storage room door, something like that. Now, sometimes you might not have a sub panel in your house at all. It might be your actual electrical panel, main panel outside. You may have to walk outside and find it, but you know, sometimes they're inside too. So, and then you might have the main service outside, and then it comes into a sub panel such as this. Okay, well, we open up this up, and this is going to tell me a lot about the project right here. Now, I'm looking on here. See all those numbers there? This number here, and down here, up here. I'm looking at that, and that says 20 on there. So that tells me this is a 20 amp breaker. And I look up here further and they look like they're all 20s see up here all these are 20s along here on this side over here too those are 20s and I got I got some double ones here too and you look on a little tag and usually there's something inside your sub panel like something like this up here and this will tell you what the associated numbers are so you look up here like say that one there, see that says six. I don't know if you could see that. Then you look down over here to the corresponding number. And here's six here. You look over here, that's it's a single 20 amp breaker. Number six said bedroom recept receptacles, second floor. So I know that's probably the circuit. Now, I can check some other ones and stuff like that, but the main thing I'm checking now is to see this. And the funny thing, I don't see any that say 15 amps. So that tells me, what does that tell me? Right, it should be 12-2 with ground in the wall, but I'm still gonna pull out the wire. I'm still gonna pull the plug out. That's my next step. I'm gonna check that just to make sure because I don't wanna, um, start putting in the wrong size wires and uh, they should have this hooked up properly it should be 12 2 with ground inside the wall but see if it was uh, uh, let's say on a 15 amp breaker then I would need 14 2 wire now I could go with 12 2 with ground on a on a 15 amp circuit if, if it's 14 2 with ground because nothing is ever going to happen because the circuit's going to trip after it achieves so much power anyways but um, I'm probably confusing you now but uh, you know if you have a 20 amp breaker and you've got 12 2 with ground wire 12 gauge wire the last thing you want to do is install 14 gauge wire on a 20 amp circuit because then you might have a problem on your hands because more power is going to come in there could could and your wires could burn up you could cause a fire it could start shorting out the breakers and you could have a fire in here after a while your breaker might keep tripping stuff like that so those are the types of things you need to check that's why we're checking that right now